What do you like to hear if somebody comes up after a concert? What kind of compliment do you like? I don't know. I don't really live on compliments. Matter of fact, it has a way of distracting me. I know a whole lot of other musicians and artists that are out there today, you know. They hear all these compliments, they say, wow, it must have been really great. So they get fat and satisfied and they get lost and they forget about the actual talent that they have and they start living into another world, you know. That's an interesting problem, isn't it? You, uh, if someone said about Janis Joplin, who's a su superstar now, you, you know Janis, I expect. Superstar, oh yeah. Well, so they, they did, yes, she I, certainly is in my heart. Uh, I'm super chicken, <laughs> don't you forget it. And don't, and don't I forget it? Mm. No, I was going to say, uh, the problem of succeeding is a hard one for you if your basis, say, is in the blues or something like that, and you suddenly make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Uh, someone said it's hard to, to sing the blues when you're making that kind of money. Uh, yeah. This assumes that you can't be unhappy and have a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes it gets to be really easy to sing the blues when you're supposed to be making all this much money, you know. Because, like, money is it's getting to be out of hand now, you know. It's, you know, and like musicians, especially young cats, you know, they get a chance to make all this money and they say, wow, this is fantastic. And like I said before, they lose themselves and they forget about the music itself, you know. They forget about their talents. They forget about the other half of them. So therefore, you can sing a whole lot of blues. The more money you make, the more blues sometimes you can sing. But the idea is like a, to, you know, use all these hang-ups and all these different things, you know, like, as steps in life, you know. It's like drinking coffee. Well, you don't drink it every day or else you go into another scene with it, you know. Like it escapes, you know. So you heard the great Jimi Hendrix speaking about being a star, about being lazy once you become a star. I don't think anything that would make me believe that Shakur Stevenson would let money or anything get in his way of achieving his dreams. I think he, he can become the biggest star in the sport of boxing. It's a long way to, I think he has a long way to go. I think that with his identity on the outside of the ring for me, I think that could be somewhat of a problem. A lot of people think that it's, it's based on who you fight and what you're doing and, and this and that. I think that's a part of it on the inside of the ring. The Oscar Valdez fight was a really good fight for him. Him unifying the titles at 130 is a very big step in becoming a star. I think even if he was to become undisputed at 130 i think it could help him a lot but i think he has to move up to the one of the most dangerous divisions at 135 and actually get some of those bigger fights i think the lomachenko fight can help i heard he's calling him out but i think that that fight can also help him and, and help him get acclimated to the weight division but i think like i say he has all the skills in the world i think he's one of the best defensive boxers in today's boxing hands down he's number one but i think as far as him getting on the pound, pound list i think he I, I could put him on there i don't know why i'll rank him maybe top 10 i, I don't know people list can be totally different from mine I, I you know i don't know where i put him but when i think of errol spence when i think of javante St. davis when i think of canelo alvarez i know exactly who they are and for me with Shakur Stevenson, who is Shakur Stevenson? What is his true identity? He seemed like a very humble kid, very nice kid. Uh, I think maturity is coming along. I think he's still immature in certain ways. Um, I think even y'all may not agree with this and y'all may think that, you know, what fashion has to do with it. When I think of Javante Tank Davis, like I'm heavily into fashion. I, I look at a lot of, you know, I look at Canelo uh, Errol Spence, you know, you see what they're wearing. I, it becomes, uh, everybody's watching everything that you do. And I think with Shakur Stevenson, you know, if you watch the fashion that he has and all that other stuff, I think that could, that could make a break. It, a lot of people may not agree with that. What what does fashion has to have to do with boxing? But look at the history of boxing. Look at Mike Tyson with the gold uh, teeth in his mouth, uh, you know, with the Gucci, anything that he had on when he was young. Look, look at what flashing money and stuff. Look what Floyd Mayweather did. Look at how he dressed. Look at how he, you know, he acted. That's what made turn them into superstars, mega stars. People wanted to pay. But then when you look at people like Oscar De La Hoya, he was a nice guy, but he was still one of the biggest stars in the sport of boxing and the highest paid. So you don't have to be mean. You don't have to be brash. You don't have to show no money. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. But with Shakur Stevenson and I say Devin Haney 
you can see a big maturity level in the two as well. I think a big thing for Devin Haney, I think he, he was in the gym with Floyd Mayweather. He got to see what it was like to be around a lot of money, a lot of older people. And Shakur Stevenson, I don't really know his true background and nothing like that, but you can see a big difference, and they the same age. Um, Tank is not that much. He's only three years older than them, and you can see a big difference in maturity. That can also make or break you in becoming a big superstar. People want to get to know you personally when you get on that big stage. And I think him and his team, they will work on that. I think over the years, I think uh, I think he can become everything that he wants to become. I, I love what he's showing inside of the ring. And even on the outside of the ring, he does show some maturity, but he shows a lot of immaturity too. And that, becomes with, that comes with the territory of becoming a superstar. But as far as skills, I have no doubt in my mind he can become one of the biggest stars. I think he'd be a dangerous opponent for anybody because how he fights. You can't hit him. You can't. If you do hit him, you're not hitting him clean. He's rolling with everything. So I think he has more than enough talent to get to where he wants to go. I think only thing is it comes down to identity. Who is Shakur Stevenson on the outside of the ring? Because if he put the two and two together, he becomes the biggest star in the sport of boxing over the years. But you guys, let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.